rest though I don't back down Leave your heart laying on the ground Tell me who, who to kill it now Tell me who, who to kill it now Hello my stars and galaxies Welcome back to my channel The Universe Tarot to, Or if you are new to my channel Welcome to my channel The Universe Tarot, okay? Now, today's reading is all about Gemini Gemini is all about you It's all about the Geminis today now, before we get started, make sure you guys like the video, um, share the video so it'll go out to a wider audience. The same thing goes for the, like, the same, the same things go for the likes, so you know it'll go out to a wider audience, audience as well. Like, it'll help you to push the video, right? And then, when you subscribe, I also appreciate that, okay? I'll appreciate that if you guys subscribe, and I'll appreciate if you guys hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload, okay? Um, then we're going to go ahead and talk about personal reading prices, okay? So, for a one-question reading, it's $15 on Cash App and $20 on PayPal, right? And how the one-question reading works is like five minutes, like anywhere between four and five minutes. And, you know, I just draw three cards and answer your question, okay? And then for a 10-minute reading, it's $25 on Cash App, $30 on PayPal, and... Then there's a 20 minute reading, okay? That's 40 on Cash App, 45 on PayPal. And then there is a 30 minute reading, okay? That's 50 on Cash App and 55 on PayPal, all right? So, I want to keep I want you guys to keep in mind to not send me any money without talking to me first, okay? So like we got to text first, okay? Don't don't yeah, just text me. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah, just text me. I have anxiety when I'm talking to strangers on the phone. You know what I'm saying? So that's like this. Yeah, just text me first, and then we can talk about your appointment. Okay. So, you know, just so let's let's confirm your appointment first before we start sending money out. Okay. Um. Then you guys. Oh yeah, one more time before I get into the membership. The starlight. Excuse me. The um. The business Instagram page, the business phone number, my cash app and PayPal are all in the description box below, so you don't have to look for anything, okay? It's all in the description box, okay? Then, membership, okay? Then, membership, right? You got the Starlight package, the Galaxy package, and then the Universe package, okay? The prices of which are in the link in the description box, right? Now, but just keep in mind, with the Universe package, package i would really appreciate you guys if you join the universe package because you'll be getting um the perks worth your money you know the perks will be more worth your money right but you know again you pick whichever one best suits your budget you know now you guys get five dollars knocked off your very first personal reading you know um, when you join the universe package okay so so it doesn't you don't have to join the universe package and then you know immediately use that you know, five dollar discount immediately. You can use it whenever you want. You could be a universe package member for like a whole six years and for finally getting your first personal reading. You will still have that five dollar discount in your arsenal. Okay, so yeah, just let me know and I will check and see if you're 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 really a part of the universe package because I like to I like to I like confirmation. So yeah, you know, you just do that and you know, five dollars knocked off your personal reading. But that is not applicable to the one question reading. Okay, that's only with the ten, twenty, and thirty minute one. Okay, because the one question one is already cheap right you know so yeah um then donations i would really appreciate donations if you guys could um that's basically all i wanted to say i have to go get my beverage real quick let me go get it y'all and then we'll get started So I hope everyone's having a good morning, noon, and night. I hope all is well. But if all is not well, I do apologize. Hopefully your situation will get better. Everybody, hopefully my reading will help your situation get better. 
But either way, I do hope it gets better. Okay. Okay. So what messages do you have for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know right now? Okay. Y'all ready? Too bad. We're getting into it anyway. But if you are ready, that's good. Oh, okay. I finally see your side of the story. Okay. So I'm seeing here there was a disagreement for a pretty while, like a pretty long while, right? You guys really couldn't see eye to eye. Maybe you guys had two different stories and then, you know, you weren't, they, that person wasn't trying to understand how you felt. So therefore they overlooked you, how you felt and didn't really want to hear what your feelings were. Like they heard you, they heard you, but they didn't really care to really go into your shoes and really think about your perspective and you know you know you just had to go ahead and agree with what they what, what they were saying to you okay and you were trying to explain to them how you felt and they obviously didn't really really like truly hear what you said okay they were just they were just you know being them okay but now maybe after thinking about it or sleeping on it right they finally undersee they find undersee they finally understand about what you're talking about how you feel so they're finally saying I, I finally see your side of the story okay i finally understand how you feel i finally see what you're com where you're coming from okay okay i let you go to clear my head okay so it seems like they've only what you call it they've only they've only finally understood how you felt once you put some distance between yourself and them okay right you guys only they finally started to see your perspective of things once they got some distance between you okay and now they didn't originally want the distance right you put the distance between them you're like i let you go like you know like you the watcher have let them go to clear your head because maybe you were pissed you know maybe you're pissed they were just not agreeing with you and like it's not even that you were pissed about them not agreeing with you is that the they we were just pissed about how they had a little consideration about what you were going through or how you felt okay because you're still a human being gemini and you have feelings okay so you put that you let them go you gave you gave yourself some space and you you know they, they finally saw on their own that they need to shape up okay okay I do not want to be tied down okay so somebody does not want to be committed here okay they do not want to be tied down right so maybe they don't want to be tied down but Gemini I really feel like it's you that don't really want to be tied down okay all right maybe it's you that don't want to be tied down maybe that's you that don't want anything permanent right now okay you just want to maybe date or just chill out right okay you know that's okay you know no, no, a lot of people don't want to get committed right now right they don't want to they just want to enjoy the single life first and they just want to enjoy dating around first before they start settling down with the permanent person right and that's totally fine you know that's totally fine nothing's wrong with that okay maybe they finally understand your point of view you do the um that let you guys like maybe like maybe like it's not like you don't want to be with them maybe it's just like right now you prefer to just date them okay you may say you guys are in a relationship you guys are in a boyfriend and girlfriend or boyfriend and boyfriend and girlfriend and girlfriend relationship right so you guys are in that and you know they're talking about the future and stuff like that you don't want to talk about the future right now you just want to enjoy the moment you guys have and just date each other but they are so determined to talk about the future and want to settle down with you okay maybe it's not the fact that it's not even that freaks you out it's not even a thought like that that freaks you out it's just that you want to just enjoy what you guys have already before you start you know talking about all that stuff right which is fair you know it's fair you know but it's hard to be in a relationship if that person feels like the relationship is not going anywhere okay it's not that it's not going anywhere it's just that right now you guys just want to you just want to enjoy what you guys have rather than rush into something serious okay so maybe so they're finally starting to see your point of view okay maybe it's finally starting to see that you know you guys can date for a couple of years like say because a lot of people don't even get serious you know people like people will date for a couple months and then you know it turns into a couple years but when you date for somebody for a couple of years it's obviously serious by then okay so yeah hmm things may never change okay so you may never want to get committed okay now that could be problematic if this person feels like 
you know, the relationship is just going to be dating forever. 30 years have passed, y'all still dating, you know, stuff like that, right? Maybe you just want to expand, like, explore your options. Like, you still want this person, right? But you just maybe just want to, like, don't want to get committed to anything because, you know, in case of anything goes left in the relationship, at least you have other flings you can mess around with to take the pressure off, right? So, you know, things may never change, okay? Things may never change. It's not, it's no, I don't, like, I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking at the situation and, it doesn't feel like it's anyone's fault, you know? It's not wrong to want something serious and be committed in a serious relationship. But it's also not, nothing's wrong with not wanting anything serious and just want to date around or just live the single life, okay? Nothing's wrong. With, so I don't even feel like anyone's in the wrong here, okay? You just, you guys just have different value sets, that's all, okay? Right? I'm not even going to say, Gemini, that you have commitment issues because I'm not getting that vibe. It's just that you just don't want to be tied down right now, Okay? And if you did, and if you did want someone to hold you down, then that card would have come up, okay? It's just you're telling you the truth. Nothing's wrong with not wanting to be in anything too serious, but it's hard to maintain a relationship like that if that other person is hoping for something serious along, somewhere down along the line, okay? Okay. Wait for a better opportunity, okay? So, right now... It doesn't seem like it's a good idea to leave the relationship, okay? For either we don't need you to leave the relationship because it's not nothing's right right now, nothing is wrong with the relationship. It's just that you guys have two different values or two different plans in life, you know. You just probably want to chill out and this person wants to settle down and have a family, right? But I don't even think it's necessary for the two of you to break up because I feel like after a little communication it could be fixed, okay? But well, for as far as, as far as um waiting for a better opportunity, okay, that is something that really goes to you, Gemini, more than the other person, okay, because um this is just something that's like being a little setback, okay. You're probably thinking, okay, maybe I should just wait a better wait for a better moment to talk about this, or wait for a better moment to break it to them, like, hey, I don't want to see them anymore. But listen, that's not necessary, okay, okay. When it says wait for a better opportunity, that's more of a life thing. Okay, more than your relationship status. Okay, like you know, maybe you're struggling to get a job somewhere. Maybe you're struggling to make money, right? You know, like more problems onto your plate. You know what I'm saying? So, but right now, as far as that is concerned, you don't have to worry about any, any like any financial or just living situation struggle for too much longer okay if you're going through something like that you got to wait for a better opportunity because something new is coming to you okay but for right now what you need to worry about is not trying not to lose your person okay now if it's not meant to be that it will it's just not meant to be okay but you know because you guys do have good times right you guys do have good times and you guys are compatible right it's just that that one key trait is that thing that you guys have different views on so maybe who knows maybe one day they can talk you into you know you know putting the ring on the finger and stuff like that you know but either way you know it's not even it doesn't even have to be a big deal okay but if, again if it's not meant to be it's just not meant to be okay? i failed to give you what you needed okay so gemini you feel kind of guilty here okay you feel kind of guilty you feel like you could have just sucked it up and gave them what they wanted you know a serious relationship because maybe you felt like you know what you call it um you feel like you could have at least tried to compromise like say but like say like, like can we just date for a couple of years and then we talk about that stuff like that you know like you know like because it's not because again you don't have commitment issues you don't right but again you just did not want to be tied down you didn't want anything too serious too especially too fast Okay, maybe this maybe this person was moving too fast. That's why you're just like, I don't want to be tied down right now. You know, da, 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 da. you know. So whatever the case was, at the very least, you guys probably could have compromised and be like, hey, like, you know, maybe we should just date for a couple years and see what happens. You know, I think that's very reasonable. If somebody told me that, I thought that was very reasonable. Okay, but yeah, that's just the situation with y'all right now. Is if you guys really just um, think about it, just really like talk about it. I feel like this whole problem could be solved, okay? Now you, you Gemini feel maybe guilty that you felt like giving what they needed, maybe because you know 
everything was fine up until they said, you know, I want, I want, I, I, I want us to have something serious. You know, I was hoping for something like I want us to have something real, and you know, something like any some kind of commitment. Maybe that made you jump a little bit, and you know, and you just kind of like backed off a little bit, okay? And now you feel like you know, you basically killed this person's vibe of having something special with you because they are genuinely interested in you, okay? Okay, major family issues, okay? So I see for some of you, maybe you guys have like family problems, okay? Now, hold on, sip. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I see for some of you, maybe you have family problems, okay? You know, maybe you feel like, you know, oh, you know, maybe say, for example, you grow up in a home where your mommy and daddy or your daddy and daddy or mommy, mommy, whatever, whatever you had growing up, you felt like, you know, they freaking hated each other after a while. You know, they, they hated each other and then they, you know, they were divorced but still lived in the same house together or they're married but separated. And then you would see maybe like them coming in with different people and stuff like that, you know, and they just couldn't stand to be around each other. So that kind of told you that commitment can ultimately fail. All right. Commitment can start off good. And, you know, then after some time goes on, commitment will finally start to fall apart to pieces. Okay. All right. So that's that, like that's a, that's the kind of message that kids can get from certain situations because and especially because kids like children's minds are like very progressive since they're constantly growing and their minds are constant have all these different thoughts all at once. It's kind of just like adolescent years when you have all these different kind of thoughts at once. You know, the only difference is that you're more self conscious or more self aware about how you look. That does, that's not the case with a kid. Okay, they don't care about how they look really. Not a lot of them. So, they're, but they're more self-aware of their surroundings, okay? All right, the older they get, the more self-aware they are, and what, you, what goes on around them is what they interpret in their own child brain, okay? So, you probably grow up in a family where, you know, commitment was like a, a thing that was ultimately going to fail somewhere down the line eventually, okay? So, that's why commitment makes you jump, because it's just like you don't want what your parents went through, okay? But... Gemini, keep in mind that every family, every person is different, every family is different, and keep in mind, you know, that, you know, not every person that you meet is going to be the same way with the way your parents handle the situation, okay, right, things are different for everybody, okay, it could even be different for you, all right, we're going to go ahead and shuffle, get some fresh answers up in here, mm. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh huh. Just as I thought, you are recovering from mental and or past drunk trauma okay okay exactly what i thought okay gemini as big as you are i'm not even going to tell you that you know oh we should just get over it da, 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 da. trauma is the word trauma for a reason trauma is something that can stay with you for life okay say for example you go into the army at 18 like a lot of people do and you know and then you get ptsd at 21 and you're 90 and you still got ptsd Okay, PTSD is something that can live with you for a very long time, okay? So, that's what I'm saying. Any kind of trauma, right, especially from a young age or anything that totally stayed with you, that can mess you up, right? So, Gemini, that's what I'm saying to you. You know, you're still recovering, okay? That doesn't mean you're fully healed. That means you're getting over it. You're still trying to get past it. You're still trying to live with it, right? But an unfortunate thing is that it's, bring, it's coming into your love life, right? It comes into your love life, that past trauma, okay? I think what would help is that you let your person in on the situation. You let them in and explain to them like, hey, I'm sorry. You know, I'm not trying to be a butthole and, and, you know, say that, you know, being committed with you is a bad thing. It's just that I have no experience of a committed relationship because I've always been mess been with this, that, and the third. Plus, I don't know what a commit committed relationship is because my parents never, you know, just got totally tired of each, tired of each other. 
once by the time I was like eight, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, I don't want to fall apart in a relationship like they did. You know, stuff like that, something like that. You know, just be straight up, be honest about how you're feeling with them. And I feel like it will work out, okay? So what does our last card say? Okay. Ooh, okay. The God honest truth. I wish we never happened, okay? Now, while a lot of people might sit there and think like, oh my God, that's like the one of the worst things you could say to somebody. That does not necessarily, okay? Not necessarily, okay? Now, there's two different versions of when somebody says this to you, okay? Like, it's like you guys say you guys are, you know, tired of each other, right? And he's like, oh, I wish we never happened. I wish I never met you. I, never, I wish I never, I said yes to you when you asked me out on a date. No. Well, that, that's what, that's version number one. Okay? But the light, but the less common version, right, is something like, oh, I wish we never happened. I wish we never happened only because, you know, I feel like you deserve somebody better than me. And da, 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 da. You know, so that's the second version. It's less common, but it exists. Okay? So maybe, Gemini, you feel this way. Maybe you feel like you guys wish you never happened because you feel like this person deserves more than you. And you feel like, you know, they could do better without you. They could do better with somebody else who does want the same things that they want. Right? Right? You know, you feel like you could, you could have, you could, like, you failed to, like, you failed to give them what they wanted on top of that, right? So you feel like they could have, I mean, excuse me, you could have, um, like, if you weren't so hurt by your past trauma, you really, you wish you could have given them what they wanted, okay? But here's my message to you, Gemini. Even though you're dealing with trauma, if somebody truly, truly loves you, okay, they will understand your past trauma. They will understand how you feel. They will understand and try to work with what you're going through. And if this is true love right here, if it's meant to be, they will stick by you and be your ride or die and help you through your, this hard time for you, okay? They will, you guys will try to reach some kind of compromise, okay? So, Gemini, I hope this did resonate with you. I hope this helped in any way. But if it, not, if it did not resonate with you, I really do apologize. Hopefully, your next um, Gemini reading will. Um, or just buy a personal reading, you know? buy a personal reading and make your life easier but in the meantime though make sure you guys like the video share subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when i upload all right this has been the universe tarot namaste